In this video, I'll show you how to enable Secure Boot on Windows 11. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. Firstly, I just want to show you that my Secure Boot is currently disabled. To do that, come to the bottom of Windows and tap on Search, and go and type in System Information like so. It may automatically appear. Then what you're gonna do is scroll down this page here until you go and see the option for secure boot state. And as you can see, mine is currently off. So let's go and enable this. So to do that, what we need to do is first to go and open up our settings. So you could go to the bottom and tap on search and type in settings, or alternatively just tap on the Windows start button and then go into tap on settings here. You can just search for it at the top. Then once you're in settings, all you need to do is go over to the left hand side and you need to come down to Windows update. Once you're in the Windows Update page, then go and tap on Advanced Options and scroll down and see you go and see the option for Recovery, just like this. And then what you need to do is go and tap on Advanced Startup and you need to go and tap on Restart Now. Now I'm just gonna go and switch recording. Here we are on my phone, so then go and tap on Restart Now and go and confirm your decision by pressing Restart Now again. And then it's going to go and say, please wait. Then after your computer restart, you'll be taken to this page here, it says choose an option. And what you need to do is tap on troubleshoot like so, and then you go and tap on advanced options, and then you go and tap on UEFI firmware settings. This is gonna go and take you to your BIOS. So go and tap on it like so, and then you'll need to go and restart your computer once again, and then your computer is gonna restart into your BIOS. And it is important to note that your BIOS is gonna look probably quite look different to mine, uh, unless we have the same software, I have an MSI one, but it doesn't matter because it should be in a similar place. But here we are in my MSI motherboard. So to navigate around the BIOS, you can go and use your arrow keys like so, like up and down, and you can also go and use your mouse if you have one, and you can use enter and the escape button to go into things and out of things. So in this case, we first need to go and navigate to the settings, just like so, so I'm gonna go and tap on it or use enter, it doesn't matter. Then once you're in your settings, this is where things do vary a bit. For a lot of systems, you'll need to go into security and then you're going to have the secure boot system in here. In my case, I don't. So I'm going to go and press on escape just like this. And then what I need to do is go into advanced. So essentially, if you're struggling to find it, I just recommend looking all in the different settings. And what you can do as well is literally just Google, uh, say your motherboard. So if it was like an Asus motherboard, type in Asus motherboard secure boot setting. And then it's going to be described how you get there. So yeah, but in my case, I need to go into advanced and then I need to go and tap on Windows OS configuration. And then I need to go uh, and make sure Windows 10 WHQL support is set to enabled like this. And then go down to secure boot. And then what I can do is go and see it here, secure, secure boot control. I'll go and click on it and then I'll go and set it to enabled. But here it does say secure boot can be enabled when system is in user mode. So if you get that there, then this means you need to go and change the boot mode. So tap here and then go and set it to standard like this and then go and press uh, yes. And then what you'll need to do is come up here and then you can go and set enabled like so. Basically it changes the system mode to user, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward and it pretty basically guides you through and we've now gone and enabled it. And then to launch back into Windows, go and press on the cross in the top right or press escape and then go and press uh, save configuration and exit like this and then your computer is gonna restart back into Windows. And here we are back on Windows. And now if I go and show you my system information again, we'll come down here and type in system information for secure boot stay. And as you can see, it's now on, showing that we've now gone and enabled secure boot. If you guys found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.